had to be the farm. <clears throat> and my totem's right in the middle of a cornfield, so I'm fucked. Is this basement? This is basement. If my totem doesn't go down within like three minutes, I'm gonna be amazed. They're playing extremely immersed right now. Dice. It's grass elements. called it been having a really rough streak of luck here with my fucking ruin I think they're trolling me. Check. Want to check that tool or that chest? Oh, it's sparking. This one's probably got progress on it again. No. This is where I wish I had my uh, whispers. Because these fuckers are playing overly immersed. No. Nothing on that. Crows over here. There's one. Little does he know, this is a basement. Back hook for you. Check these nearby gens. You gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. They're right there. I might get another hook in the basement. No. Nope. Uh, I did get another hook in basement, but it wasn't who I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be the Jane. Instead, I get a Claudette. So, I kind of traded up. The other one's on the gen. I'm assuming the gen's healing somewhere nearby. Nope, she's right there. So, that's three. I know where the knee is. I thought they were playing really good at first, but they're really not. 
she made it into the locker. Because there's no way she got within 40 meters of uh, when she was being shown. So she's probably right here. No. She was here. She's there. strike no the ash is down here still or someone's down here still no someone's still up oh well wait I'm retarded They're down here still. They have to be. Crow gave her away. Now, I wish I had Deerstalker, but I wonder where. If she bleeds out, it's fine. He almost made it. You got really far. How much you want to bet I lose a pip regardless of getting a 4k? <sighs> it's been a rough... It's been a rough one. Holy shit. Three pip, three pip losses in a row. And then this one I probably didn't even pip. I probably safetyed. I don't know, man. I think that's just a safety. I was too efficient. And they were too efficient uh, doing getting the gens cleared out. That's such bullshit. Basically a three game losing streak and the one win I get, I don't even pip. That's just completely bogus. Oh, that's just a byproduct of what this pipping system has become. I mean, I, I literally three games in a row, I got my ass handed to me, and I'm man enough to admit that. I mean, I some of the games I got too caught up in protecting my ruin totem, and they just got the gens done with ruin active, um, which is kind of a misplay on my part. But uh, at the same time, it's you got to know when to protect the ruin and when not to. And a general rule of thumb for me is protect the ruin until there's two gens left. But then by that point, like, if you concede the ruin, then they're just going to gen rush the other two gens while you're wasting time maybe chasing one person. And then you have maybe one hook to show for it. So... It's kind of a crapshoot. It works more to your advantage when they don't know where the totem is, but um, the luck that I've been having, I've been getting stuck in 
lobbies with survive with friends or they at least they act like survive with friends uh, i don't know if people are joining in games solo and then inviting to parties or what the deal is but they seem to be on point with communication like they all seem or well i shouldn't say all of them but most of them seem to be on the same page they seem to know what to do um i swear i had four solos and they all seem to know exactly where the ruin was so i would go so far as to say that while maybe they joined the lobby solo they probably were in a party together um whether all four of them were in a party together or not i don't know it, it's hard to tell and i'm not going to uh conduct a survey and ask survivors oh hey are you guys joining parties or because they're going to lie and because this is a very toxic community um but this uh this game in particular i beat them thoroughly and efficiently and i basically got penalized for it i didn't get much anything in chase which is stupid and the eight percent proximity hook survivor i think is complete bullshit um, I'm kind of, I, I'm kind of sounding like a broken record. Um, the last three games where I lost to Pip, like, they were excruciating and very demoralizing. So, for me to actually come back and then beat a group of four as handily as I did, and not be rewarded for it, just absolutely sucks. Like, and it's not their fault. They're doing what they're supposed to be doing, but at the same time, it's not my fault either. I killed all four of them. I should at least be getting a pip. Um, in the old system, if you killed everyone, you'd get a double pip. So, I feel like a pip is a fair trade. If you kill everyone, you should get a bonus. And you should automatically get a pip for that. Um, I think the victory cube was the best thing that happened to this game. Um, it's just, you know, survivors and killers just aren't the same. And killers have a different goal that they need to achieve and I'll be glad when the changes are being implemented but I, I'm not overly optimistic with behavior and their methods of implementing things um, I don't know I haven't looked at the roadmap and looked at things thoroughly but I'm pretty sure they said that the ranking the ranking rework is happening at the end of this year which is way too long. It needs to be happening, like, yesterday. Because this pipping system is god-awful. Um, the, the values, when they changed it, they just made it way too difficult to rank up. And I know rank doesn't mean a whole lot, but I'm a very competitive person. And if I'm not seeing reward for playing efficiently, then it, you kind of start... The, it kind of begs the question as to, like, well, what's the point of even playing then? Because I just killed all four people, and I got absolutely little to no reward for it. All I got was blood points. And, honestly, like, even the games where I was getting my ass handed to me, like, literally, the last, the, the game before this one, I scored 41,000 blood points. Well, that's probably because I had a survivor pudding, too. But, I only scored, like, uh, at base, I only scored, like, a thousand less and i got my ass handed to me um so uh, for me to be getting only this much score um it was just basically maybe one to two thousand points more than what i got the last game and i'm killing everyone uh, that's that's bad that's not good um you need to give killers something you know you need to give killers a reason to play because without killers you don't have a game I mean, it, it takes one of me and four survivors, and I feel like survivors get way more reward than killers do. And I actually enjoy playing as killer more so than I do playing survivor. So, um, incentivizing killers to actually play this game would um, probably be beneficial to the product, I would say. But, you know, fucking survivors, if they had it their way, they would be on a map by themselves just farming everything and then escaping and getting double pips non-stop because they're a bunch of fucking cucks and yeah uh, i stand by those words i i, I every single day I, I find more and more reasons to hate survivors and that's and i even play survivor and i just ugh. 
I dread, I dread survivors. 